This is uh, a random video. I actually didn't plan to do this video. Um, I'm just irritated. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm annoyed. So I thought I'd rant for a bit. Um, I'm still ill when I'm shooting this, so apologies. I sound nasty, but it helps put my point across. I promise. Um, I want to talk about toxic femininity. <laughs> I'm really fucking irritated. Um, it just gets on my last fucking nerve that trans women are put on a different level of femininity and like expectation than cisgendered women. Like, why is the expectation of trans women and femininity and being ladylike here and then that of cisgendered women down here? How does that make sense? No. It's just, just because we used to be men, we need to be more feminine? Shut the fuck up. No, we fucking don't. Like, I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Like, I'm fucking sick and tired of it. <coughs> it's gotten worse, like, since I've, like, had surgery. Like, you know, oh my god, you've had surgery now, you can't act like that. That's not ladylike. Excuse the fuck out of me, who are you? Who the fuck are you? And it's like, there was an instance, right? Like prior to getting surgery and all that sort of shit, it was like, um, it was coming up close and I was in, it was winter, I was in like some jeans, like just some skinny jeans, some sneakers and an oversized jumper. <coughs> and someone that I work with turned around and said to me that, um, oh, you can't do that after surgery, like, you know, like, it's not ladylike type thing. And I'm like, bitch, I got the idea from Pinterest, who are you? But in general, this person the next day came in in the exact same outfit, albeit a slightly lighter shade. I am a, I wear black constantly. Um, so it was just like, I was wearing a very dark teal green um, jumper um, and like black jeans, black sneakers. This person just wore light wash jeans and white sneakers and like some pink and colorful fucking jumper. But aesthetically it was the same, okay? So I'm like, why is it okay for you to wear that? And just because I'm trans, I can't wear it because it's not ladylike enough or feminine enough. And it's it's fucking bullshit. Like I don't understand. Like I fully don't understand how people can say, "Oh, um, oh, that's not ladylike." And people do it to me now. Like I'll be standing there, or like you know, I'll sit there with like I'll be wearing jeans or like you know leggings or something, and my legs would be like slightly spread apart. And like, oh my god, don't close your legs. You can't do that. And I'm like but you can't see nothing. And then other people, other other girls are in my office sitting very fucking similar. And I'm like, what, I must sit with like, my legs crossed and very dainty and like, you know, be very, oh yes, I'm hooking one ankle across the other and sitting sideways. Like, this isn't fucking Princess Diaries, bitch, no. Like, it's fucking stupid and it's really irritating me. Like, it's fucking getting on my last nerve. And I'm seeing more and more of it in the media as well. And I'm like, leave us alone. Leave us the fuck alone. If you want to hold women to that standard, hold every woman to that fucking standard, okay? But here's, here's the fucking, oh my god, this is what fucks me up even more. It's like, you can't act too feminine, otherwise, you know, you're clockable. I'm like, so you want me to be more feminine than cisgendered women, but not too feminine, otherwise that'll give it away that I used to be a man. Oh. A man just started up his motorcycle outside my house and it's very loud. Uh, but you know, it's just, it's, it's annoying. It's fucking annoying. And I, oh my God, oh, it's fucking. So, I have, I obviously have hair on my arms. I don't care that I have hair on my arms. Women have hair on their arms. I have hair, I have a little bit of like peach fuzz on my chest and my breasts. Do I care? No, women have that. And it's like, oh my God, are you not gonna get a full body wax? You wouldn't say that to a cisgendered woman, so why do you think it's okay to say to me? Do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, it fully fucking doesn't. And I'm fucking confused. I'm like, where? <laughs> where? Like, where? I just don't understand. Like, what makes you think you can say that to someone? I don't sit around thinking, ooh, fucking hairy upper lip, bitch. Like, next time you get those brows done, opt for the upper lip. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sitting there thinking that. It just it it baffles me honestly it truly baffles me. 
and it is, in my experience, it is in a slightly older generation, people in their sort of like uh, mid to late 30s, etc. onwards. But, you know, but then at the same time, I'm not grouping a load of people together. I'm just saying like, in my experience, that's, that's what it's been. But like, but then at the same time, like I have like my, my wonderful next door neighbor who is like older shit, like in her set, like mid to late seventies. And she's like, pro down queen like you know she's brilliant with everything and like she's seen me with a full beard looking manly as shit and like she she's still like hi how are you doing hun like you know very like she doesn't fucking care and i'm like how is she old as hell doing that and like you bitches that are young can't even get your fucking shit together like i don't understand stop putting trans women at a different level than cisgendered women okay we're just fucking women leave us the fuck alone let us fucking live okay no like, it's irritating. If I want to have a fucking beard one day and walk down the street in his tux, fuck off. It's my prerogative, ho. Like, who are you? Like, it's just irritating. Like, why? Why? Like, I just don't understand. And it's like, okay, you know, and it puts me in an uncomfortable situation, you know, because I've had a lot of these comments, like, during working hours. And I'm like, I can't come for this bitch because I work with her. And I can't school her because I ain't got the time right now. So you just go, ha, 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 yeah, and then just wander off. Like, nah. Like, I'll school you in a minute, B. Like, honestly, like, it's, uh, it's not comfortable. It's just, it makes us feel very uncomfortable. And it's like, it undermines everything we do. <coughs> it literally does. Like, to say, um, like, I've spent a lot of money getting laser hair removal on my face. And I think my body hair, everything, has thinned so drastically. And, like, you know, I'm in a face where, like, I'm fairly content with my body. And, like, you know, my hair growth, and I'm not that dysphoric anymore. And it's, like, these comments just, like, throw you back to when you first started transitioning into a headspace where you're like, oh, my God, I'm not woman enough. That's what you're doing to people. That's what you're doing to trans women. You're making us feel like we're not worthy or that we're not trans enough or female enough. And you know, this is the same for like, I know I always talk about trans women. Like when I talk about trans people, I always talk about trans women because that's what I can personally relate to. But it's hella true for trans men too. Stop putting trans men at, on a different pedestal to like trans women. No, not trans women, ah, cisgendered men. Ugh. I can't talk today. But do you know what I mean? Like. Leave us, leave us the fuck alone. Like, I don't understand. Like, you can be a trans man and be feminine. Who the fuck cares? Do you know what I mean? Not everyone has to look like Ty Turner and be, like, muscular and shit. Like, no. You can look like Jamie. Jamie Rains? Jamie... Ch what? Jamie Donner on fucking, like, YouTube. I'll link him below. I fucking love Jamie. He's, like, one of my favourite people in the world. Um... Yeah, and it's just like, girl, leave us the fuck alone. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? I don't, and I could retaliate so easily. Like, oh, you know what? I've got laser done on my face. You should get some too. Like, it'll help with the peach fuzz. Do you know what I mean? I can shade, honey, I used to be a gay man. I can shade the fuck out of you. Don't try me. Honey, I did drag, honey. No, don't fuck with me. And I'm just like, it just gets, it's just really annoying. It's really fucking annoying. Like, eh. This is the most pointless video because I've ranted for like eight minutes, just making noises. Okay, that's that, That's me. Fuck off with your toxic femininity and your toxic masculinity. Stop pushing your ideals, which you don't even adhere to, of femininity on trans people because we don't want it. Fuck off. And the thing is, I can get angry and like let it go to an extent. But it is detrimental to someone's health if they're not in a right space, like frame of mind. You know, if I had those comments thrown at me when I was early on in my transition, I would have burst into tears, fully burst into tears. Because I, you already, I, I already did not feel like trans enough. I didn't, not even trans enough, I didn't feel feminine enough. And I just wasn't comfortable or happy in my skin. But I was still trying. Do you know what I mean? I was trying to be like, ooh, it's, what's a BB cream? What's a CC cream? You know, well, I wasn't really. But, you know, you get the gist. Like, you know, someone could be thinking these things and being very, like, ooh, I, let me just try this. And, like, you know, it's evident that, you know, their beard line is still through and, the, you know, honey, colour correct and, like, use a concealer. But they don't know that yet. And you're saying to them, like, oh, yeah, that's not really ladylike and shit like that. Like, 
bitch, they could go home and cry. Like, you know, like the, it could be so detrimental to them. It can knock them back several weeks in like headspace and like, you know, how they've like progressed mentally. And you're just fucking them up. And you, you just don't care. And it's just that people are very insensitive and people don't think about what they're saying before they're saying it. Like, have a conversation with yourself, B. Like, it's as, it's as simple as, like, there was an incident in my workplace where um, a person, I'm not gonna say what level this person's at or like whatever, had said to me, like, was talking about me in front of me and they were like, like I was, I was on the phone, I was on the phone to a client and I was just nipping out the office, like, so I just quickly answered the phone, I was standing up. And my hair we used to be buzz cut short I, and I've worked in my company since I was male, right? And this person says, oh my God, his hair's gotten so long. And it's like, I'm very good friends with most people that I work with, um, to the extent of like we chill outside of work, they've been to my home, etc. And it was just like, you've known I've been trans for two fucking years and you're gonna use male pronouns? Bitch, really? Like how the f how in the fuck? So I was like, uh, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't react. I just kind of like was like, okay, whatever. But, and it did hit me a bit because it kind of knocks you back. Like, oh fuck, am I still being perceived as male? Because, oh my God, I've tried so hard. Like, you know, like I've spent, uh, I spent so much money on skincare. I spent so much money on fucking makeup. Like I spent hundreds of pounds in Morphe. Ah, like, you know, I buy Armani, like foundation. What the fuck is this? And it's like, look, all these things swirl around in your head. And you're like, oh my God, I'm not woman enough yet. And I had a I had a fleeting moment of that, but if that was said to someone who is not like in a good headspace, it could fuck them up. And I'm not usually in a good headspace, so I'm like, eh, that could have fucked me up, bitch. But it's just like, why are people not like thinking about what they're saying before they're saying it? Like, shut the fuck up, pipe the fuck down, and think, think, bitch. So I'm just like, okay, you know, what? I'm done. I'm I'm done ranting. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll see y'all next week. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, I will always encourage people to share their stories, etc. And the, just the, you know, the, the comments below, have a chat, you know, mean shit will immediately be blocked and like deleted. So I'll come for you if you try and hate on my videos. No. Um, get stalk my socials, message me on Insta, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all next week. Bye.